One thing that's immediately obvious about Portland is that it's at the cutting edge of progressive thinking. Uh, everyone here is so woke. Or woke AF, as it were. The work levels in Portland are out of this world. Like, the wokosity is, it's insane. Yeah, this is so woke, man. It's full Wokeville. Apparently this woke end, they're forecasting a woke storm coming in from the south woke. And they're expecting about 60 centimeters of woke fall. So hence the current woke precipitation. Yeah, it's woking cats and dogs. So woke. Yeah. I mean, we were prepared, like we knew Portland was going to be different, but this is like neck level work. Oh yeah. If we're to get anywhere in this town, we're going to need to find new and subtle ways to insert our awareness and mindfulness into day-to-day -day banter. One hunch. Hey, what's up? You guys want to analyze some problematic social norms or what? Oh, hey, I'm a cisgendered, able-bodied, straight white male. Shoot me in the face, right? How about the patriarchy? So it's a bit of a stitch up, isn't it? We've actually decided to no longer use the word man or man at all. In an effort to try and wipe those micro sexisms off the map. Mm. I mean, I can't believe they put a tax on fair people and hygiene products. I mean, they may as well be taxing woke people for people straighting. Our last flatmate, she was a real ego personiac, you know, she's very personipulative and had all these mean personarisms. Right? You know, she ended up actually having a drink driving accident and getting charged with people slaughter. So. What are you saying? Hey Dom, do you want your people go people drin and grape salad now or just later? We've discovered that people in Portland are just so authentic, like so intrinsically connected to the greater consciousness that your false self has to die before you can actually speak to anyone in Portland on their level. We decided to do drills before we go out. Um, we just wanted to make sure we we're entirely prepared for all responses and all possible conversations. Yeah, well, that's a bigoted, misogynistic, slippery slope straw man. You know, it's a logical fallacy driving us towards argument ad absurdum. No, no, argumentum. Fuck. Is argumentum ad absurdum. Time, time. Argumentum ad absurdum. It it's hard not to say the wrong thing at some point. A logical fallacy driving us towards argumentum ad absurdum. Great, you've nailed it. Fucking thoughts. Nailed the line. It got was it, a bit red it. for rope, but it was fine. Okay. You really do have to suffer an ego death before you speak to anyone in Portland. My dad is a doctor. I don't believe my you. My dad is a doctor. I don't believe- I HATE MY DAD! I don't believe you. I HATE MY- Dad for being rich and successful. My whole life I've been telling people that my dad's a doctor. He's not a doctor, he's a nurse. <laughs> I'm a goddamn son of a nurse. <laughs> Just gotta suck it up, you know? Don't suck it up, Dom, no! Let it out! <laughs> I'm gonna go now. Anything you say has the ability to offend someone or be misinterpreted. We realized that the safest way for us to exist in Portland was to just exist and do nothing at all. Sit there, you know, use a typewriter, read a newspaper. You do that, it'll be parties for days. <laughs> Am I right? I don't know, I don't hear um, offensive terminology that's sexist towards other people or misogynistic. I just, yeah. All I heard was bzzz. So yeah, go to Portland.